Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen, and this is the sewing room where I do all the sewing. <laughs> That's as clever as I get today. I'm glad you joined me for Friday Sews, where I talk a little bit about sewing and a little bit about life and just, you know, visiting in general. I have a few sewing things to tell you about. First off, thank you so much for all of the wonderful compliments that you all gave me on my frugal frock and uh, both frugal frocks, both the um, wide strap maxi and the, also the beach cover up, the trapeze tank. I appreciated that so much. You know, you all just encourage me so much. So, and I, I'm just really grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, some of you mentioned the pool. Oh, it must be nice to have a backyard like that. No, that's not my backyard. <laughs> that's my neighbor's backyard. I wanted to take some photos of the beach cover up at a pool. And the pool where I swim is a city pool. It's like an aquatic center with a competition pool. So I always go there and swim my laps, but we visit our uh, good, good friends. Actually, we have them over, they have us over, you know, and they're the ones with the pool. Fabulous pool, and their backyard is like a park. I, I mean, I just stand in awe of Eric's ability to landscape. That was their yard and their pool and just that little bit of heaven that they have. And also, the puppy's name is Logan. He's brand new, and um, I'm kind of aunt, Auntie Jen. <laughs> if you can be an aunt to a to a dog. Uh, but anyway, he is just precious. He's just so full of energy and just lots of fun. So anyway, um, also tossing fabrics is great, great therapy. Oh, it's so much fun tossing anything. And I have to tell you a quick story about one time when <laughs> I lived in North Carolina and my house was brick and I got so frustrated with the fact that nobody would do the dishes ever. Not any of my girls and not my husband. It was like I was always having to do the dishes for everybody, everybody's dishes. So I had like three sets of dishes, you know, some were hand-me-downs, a couple were hand-me-downs, I think, and then one set was from Dollar Tree, and I think the whole thing was like 10 bucks. So I went out to the backyard. I was totally calm. I drank a glass of water first, and I thought, you know, I think I'm going to do this. And I went out, and I threw every one of those dishes at the wall and broke them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everybody thought I'd lost my mind. My neighbor came over. He goes, are you okay? And I said, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, you know, I, I thought I'd just do this instead of therapy. And it was way cheaper. So I wasn't all that thrilled about those dishes anyway. So that was good therapy. So I am, I am very uh, well known for tossing things <laughs> for therapy. <laughs> I remember uh, on Facebook, I said one time, I'm really frustrated about this. And one of my dearest, oldest friends said, well, hide the dishes. <laughs> it was so funny. I mean, it's really funny now, too. But boy, that was good therapy. Okay, back to the sewing. I worked on um, a call 6069, which is a wonderful pattern from 1978 that I made back in 1978. And um, it ended up turning out so cute. And it was such a pleasant surprise. So I'll tell you about that in another video. But yeah, really kind of shocked me. I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So yeah, uh, I did make the Hot Patterns uh, wrap around, all wrapped up tank. And no, I mean, that pattern is a mess. It's that pattern is a mess when it comes to fit. I made exactly my size and it's too small. The um, pieces that you cut for the ribbing around the neck and around the armholes are not big enough. And the ties, I mean, I have about a 34 and a half inch waist and those things went around me twice. And it, they're not supposed to. They're supposed to go to the back, cross and come back to the front. And that didn't, that was not good. 
And the fabric, even though it was a beautiful color of coral, it just wasn't probably great fabric. But still, it would have been fine had the thing fit. <laughs> I thought, what in the world? Um, the finished bust measurement was two inches bigger than mine my regular full bust measurement and the thing is so small I mean it's like probably a size too small and so I've I've made their patterns before and I've never been overly happy with them and so I'm sad to say that that was kind of a fail I wish I had it here to toss <laughs> that'd be funny wouldn't it uh, I got my Easter dress done and that was uh, simplicity 9099 sorry the patterns right over there and it was a huge success. And that video is coming out on Sunday. Um, coming up, I'm making swimsuits. I uh, should have some spandex fabric coming in from Spandex by the Yard, I think is the place I ordered it from. I looked at several places, but I'm pretty sure that was the one where I got the spandex. And um, I'm doing it in collaboration with Mari from Mari Sews. And I'm excited about it because when I, because I swim laps almost every day, my suits wear out really quickly because chlorine and exposure and, you know, I have to rinse them out every time I swim. And so they go through the washer, just rinse and um, spin cycle. You know, I don't put soap in there, but oh my gosh, that's a lot of getting wet and getting dry. So, you know, they don't last all that terribly long. And I was thinking, man, I would like to make some. And I would like to make some cute ones rather than just black and, you know, the standard colors that they usually come in. I usually get them from Swim Outlet. And they do have some cute colors, but they're not cut in a way that flatters me. So I went online and I found a swimsuit, a racing suit with a racer back from Jolie Patterns. And uh, then I also have a McCall's pattern. It's an older pattern from the early 2000s, which is a two-piece. So I'm gonna make that too. I don't know how that's gonna look on me. I don't know that I've ever been comfortable in a two-piece swimsuit unless it was like a tankini. But you know, I'm gonna give it a try. And so is Mari, so that's coming up. I have to get the fabric and the elastic and all of the things, you know. But um, yeah, we're hoping towards the end of April we'll be able to do that. Also, on the sewing front, I wanted to mention three YouTubers that I have been really enjoying. Now, this is not to say that I don't enjoy a whole host of YouTubers, but there are specific reasons that I really enjoy watching these people. And I found them because of Friday Sews, which is fabulous. It's just expanding that sewing circle, ever expanding. I just, God, such a wonderful thing. Okay, the first one was Katie from The Wandering Bobbin. Two things about her channel. First of all, she sews uh, sometimes, a good part of the time, on her Singer 99K, which is an antique machine, um, vintage machine, and I have one too. And she's kind of inspired me to try something on that. And I have this vintage pattern from the 70s, no, 80s, I don't know. Um, oh, 90, 93. It's a blouse pattern. I'm using quilting cotton that I've had for a while to do it. And I thought, I think I'm going to get my Singer 99 out and just make it on that. Because it's good to use your machines, you know, to keep them running. It's a machine. It needs to keep running in order to stay in good shape. And she has a couple of videos where it's quiet, relaxing sewing. And it is so relaxing. It's so just oh, calming to watch. You gotta, you gotta give her videos a try. So I'm gonna link all three of these people below, but I just so enjoy that. I, it's so calming. Ugh. Anyway, okay. And then Allison, who is that lady on the hill who sews. And she's a new YouTuber like Katie. And she, I love the sound of her voice, for one thing. I love to hear her speak. But she said something last week that just really rang true with me, especially when I was making that hot patterns all wrapped up tank. She said, I often get into the process and as it's going along, I think, no, no, this isn't working. I just need to give up. And then she'll start cutting something else. And I thought, boy, that's how I feel. As soon as I felt like that, I thought, that's what Allison said. You just want to quit. It's like, 
this is not turning out. I don't want to, I don't want to finish this, but it's important to finish every project because you never know. You might make a change that ends up turn, you know, making it beautiful and it turns out great. So I appreciated that bit of advice from her. And then the last one is Deb from Slap Happy Sewing. Now she is a Kiwi. She is a New Zealander. And the thing I love about Deb is that she is very um, much a person who uses recycled linens. And I love that because I do too. Um, she'll talk about getting either fabric or sheets or, you know, duvet covers or something like that from thrift stores. And she uses those things to make, you know, outfits. And she always usually looks great in them. Um, she likes cashmere patterns a lot. And I just really enjoy her. She's so upbeat. She's so fun to watch. And um, and she uses those kinds of, you know, she upcycles a lot of fabrics. And I just think that's fabulous. I, I love that about her. So those are just three uh, relatively new YouTubers that I would like to suggest that you watch for those reasons. I think that's about all the sewing. Um, on the life front, my Ikea cabinets came back into stock. So this morning I grabbed them and I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow and bring them back and set them up, put all my books away, maybe put a lot of these books away, which would be fantastic because then I'd have shelf space for um, fabric. <laughs> I need it. So uh, that's coming up tomorrow that I'm going to go do that. Um, the Ikea store near me is about an hour and 15 minutes away. So um, there's a fantastic Joann's up there and I may just drop in just to walk around because I remember walking into that store the first time and I thought, wow, this place is huge and look at all the fabric. Oh my gosh. They do have a really nice selection. So I need to go to Costco and it's right there next to Joann's anyway. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably do that and um, yeah, it's a, you know, hit many things in one shot kind of a shopping trip. So, and lastly, uh, my little Singer Quantum Stylist 9960, which I had not been using, went home with my daughter McKenna. She said, uh, she was here last weekend. She said, mom, I want to sew something. I think I want to sew a skirt. And of course, you know, when you come to mom's sewing studio, you just go shopping. You shop for patterns, you shop for fabric. And so she decided on a wrap skirt, which was an excellent project for her. I said, call me if you get into trouble. And she said she would. And uh, I think when I get my brother's serger fixed, I don't think I'm going to take it to Eric. I think I'm going to take it to um, the place that will uh, where this serger came from, the Juki serger, the new one that I have. I, I think I'm going to take it there and see what they say about it. Because he already said, I don't want to deal with this. So I kind of feel like, yeah, I don't take that back to him. Um, and although I bought this used, um, the lady who um, I bought it from on Facebook Marketplace said, you can have lessons at any of those locations where I bought it. It's one of those chains where they fit um, sewing machines and vacuums and one of those kind of places and so I think I'm going to take it to them and just see what they can do with it and then if I can get it working again then I'm going to send that home with McKenna and she will be in heaven because she thinks that you're supposed to have a serger <laughs> I have taught her well young Padawan so that is just so exciting to me because none of my girls sew and so for her to take such a an active interest in that just makes me happy. So I think that's about it for now for me. Um, if you would like to watch the video where I talk about some of these things that I cut out and I have gotten finished like that Hot Patterns tank and like the Simplicity 6069, where did it go? There it is. If you would like to watch that, then check right here. Should take you right there and entertain you for, you know, 15 minutes. And I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.